Exxon Mobil. Exxon has an, an, uh, an oil spill in an Arkansas neighborhood. I've got video of it to show you in a second. Andrew, the liberal truck driver from Arkansas, contacted me about this and said, you know what? We're not all uninformed clowns down here in Arkansas. I'm a liberal truck driver, and uh, I'm concerned about this. And this happened hours after Republicans called the, the uh, Keystone XL pipeline a no-brainer that passes environmental muster. ExxonMobil spilled, and I say this number, it's probably way more, but at least 10,000 barrels of crude oil in a residential neighborhood. And if you ever wonder what it looks like to see 10,000 barrels of crude oil rolling down the streets of your of your suburban subdivision, you don't have to wonder anymore because we now have the video. Let's take a look at this, Lewis. This is a guy driving around. It's basically what you would you would imagine, except you would be used to seeing it in kind of like apocalyptic sci science fiction movies. Take a look. So that is a pipeline that is busted and is flooded the neighborhood and is going all the way to the drain at the end of the street. Um, luckily, our house is here, which is seemingly unaffected, but the smell is unbelievable. I mean, look. And then this is really the shot. There's a driveway here where the oil is just overflowing everywhere. It's it's all over a basketball hoop and the house and the, 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 the landscaping. Dead birds have been found covered in oil. It's a total disaster. This is Exxon's Pegasus pipeline, which ruptured over the weekend. And uh, so far, 22 homes in Mayflower, Arkansas, have been evacuated. It's not clear when any of those people will be able to come back. Part of the pipeline actually goes through a water source like Mamel, which provides drinking water to nearly 400,000 residents in central Arkansas. Officials claim they were able to stop the flow before it reached that far. Do we believe that? I don't know. As usual, Exxon is not being very forthcoming with the details here. Uh, when they were asked, well, how, what was the leak? They said, well, we've, what's the term that they use? We've confronted or we, we've encountered 10,000 barrels of oil or maybe it's 12,000 barrels of oil, but it's just not clear really what the extent of it is, even if you've only leaked or spilled 10 or 12,000 barrels of oil that is still mixing in with water, et cetera, where you might have to collect 200,000 uh, barrels of uh, uh, gallons of of, uh, uh, of of liquid. You just don't know what the extent will be. And we never hear from the companies. We're, remember, with Deepwater Horizon, within days of the leak being stopped, they had it all cleaned up. Seventy five percent of it was gone. A year later, there were huge oil slicks in the Gulf. Right, right. Of course, they're going to pull the same type of thing that BP did. I mean, it's just um, their entire job right now is just PR, right? They, they need to make themselves uh, not look as bad as they do. Maybe the new argument is this for, uh, for, for the oil spill problems that we're having. Do you realize how many jobs we're creating with these oil spills? We've got to bring out huge cleanup crews. We've got to bring out people to, to bring food and gas to the cleanup crews. We're employing so many people cleaning up the oil spills. Is that an idea that would work? Um, it's one that they will try to make work. Yeah. yeah. And, and this really isn't, Natan, about pipelines specifically. At least it shouldn't be. It should really be about, more broadly, the lack of sustainability that these types of fuels provide combining that with the fact that they're just not good for the environment, we really should be moving so quickly towards alternative energy. And it's really not happening very fast. Yeah, it's a no brainer. But uh... yeah, speaking of no brainers that pass the environmental muster, moving away from fossil fuels should be at the top of the list. Right. I mean, uh, we can become energy independent, according to some experts, by like 2020 or 2022. But it's going to involve in the short term a lot of oil and natural gas. So I, I don't know. There's pros and cons to doing that. No question about it. But we, we just this this status quo can't continue just putting more money in the pockets of the big oil companies until we're just out and the the environment is in worse shape. How long are we going to wait, Lewis? Good question. Um, probably as long as probably profits. until the oil is about to run out. Right. Facebook.com slash David Pakman show. Join us on Facebook heading towards 20,000 likes. We'll take a break. Next, I will give you the update on our Indiegogo campaign. We will talk about mandatory gun ownership in Georgia and a lot more stuff. Stay with us. The David Pakman show at davidpakman.com.